Hi, this is Sage Lewis from SageRock.com. One of the most important parts of web marketing is key phrase research. If you get your phrases wrong, all of your work that you do is going to be for naught. You, it's either going to be too competitive and you won't uh, rank well, or you will have missed the mark altogether, and you might be number one for the key phrase, but you just don't show up. There are numerous key phrase research tools available on the market today, but there is one that is free, and it is at Overture, which is now Yahoo Search Marketing, but you can get to this tool at inventory.overture.com, and you're going to come to a page that looks like this, the Keyword Selector Tool. So what you do is, the, the premise is you enter in a word or two, and then this tool will show you the top variations of that phrase that it that has been recorded in the last month. So this is a great way to see what variations of your potential key phrases other people are actively searching on. So I've done a couple here for us. Uh, I've looked at Cleveland real estate. So uh, I typed in Cleveland real estate, and then these are the results that I got. So you can see in the count, this is the searches done in July of 06, and we see 19,612 people searched for Cleveland real estate, 7,227 searched for Cleveland, Ohio real estate, and then uh, 4,766 searched for Cleveland, Tennessee real estate, uh, TN. And that right there, I think, is interesting because a lot of times when you're in your own market, you don't think that there might be variations or, or somebody is searching for something that seems like you but really isn't. And Cleveland real estate is a good example because there is there are numerous, as we can see, numerous uh, Clevelands throughout the country. So when we're crafting our key phrases to, to optimize for, we want to pay attention to that because probably the visitor is going to type in Cleveland real estate and realize that they're in the wrong state, and so they're going to go back and search for their, their state, so OH or TN or TX. So at this point, now what we want to do is we want to start developing a little spreadsheet. Uh, if you used a tool like Word Tracker, which is a great key phrase research tool, this process would be a little bit more automated, but it is certainly not out of the realm of possibility of doing it here. All you do is you highlight the phrases that you're interested in and, and highlight up to the count number, the number of searches done in that month, and then you right click and you click copy. Now you might think that you could just go ahead and paste that into Excel, but believe it or not you, you can't. Uh, Excel uh, jumbles it up, so what I do is I go into Notepad here and I paste these phrases and so you can see them in notepad and then from here I copy and paste them once again copy and then I open up Excel and I'll just paste them here so now we can see that our count number is in this C cell and then our phrase is in the in the D cell here. You can see that. And we can go back and forth and we can do this for a lot of different variations. So we might also want to look at Cleveland Realtor and see what variations of that there are. And here we can see that the numbers are are a lot less than Cleveland real estate, but clearly people are searching on Cleveland Realtor as well. So we want to take some of these and we'll copy them. And we'll go ahead and paste those into Notepad and once again copy. And then we'll paste. And now we can see that we're developing a nice little list of, of key phrases. 
And the, the more the better. So now this tells you half of the story. This tells you roughly how often a phrase is searched in comparison to uh, another phrase. Now, there's some things to keep in mind here that these uh, numbers are strictly from Overture.com. These are, this is not across the internet as a whole. This is, this is just from Overture. So the number of people searching for Cleveland real estate is, is much larger than 19,612 in any given month. We don't know exactly how much larger. We can speculate that maybe this is 10% of the traffic or probably even less at this point. But the, the value here is in comparison to uh, one phrase to another. So we know that Cleveland real estate is much more searched than Cleveland realtor. And that's really what we're trying to understand. We want to know the, the comparison here. So the, that's, that's the goal. But now we want to know how likely is it that we'll be able to come up for these phrases because we want to see how competitive they are. And so what we want to do now is we want to go to Google and we're going to search these phrases and we're going to find out exactly how many competing web pages there are for each of these phrases. So now we're at Google and I'm just going to start pasting these phrases into Google. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the phrases in quotations. And that's not how most people search, but what this is going to tell me is this is going to tell me how many pages have this exact phrase on the page. If I don't have the quotes, I'm going to get a much larger number because it's going to show me every page that has these words somewhere on the page, and that's really not who our competition is. So we'll do a search here. And these are the results. And what I want to show you here is the results, one of 100. I have my browser set for one of 100. You might have one of 10 of about 408,000. So this is the number that we're interested in. So we're going to copy this number. And then we're going to paste it into this cell. And we're going to do that with all of these phrases. And I'm going to do that. In the next frame, you'll see all of these numbers in there. 